Good morning, folks. Good evening, or perhaps have a happy weekend or happy week. Um, my name is Chico Lopez from 123peoples.com. Here it is. It's one of my favorite cups. I'm having a debate whether it's this champion or some buck. Maybe. I love the tail, the scorpion tail of uh, this amazing specimen. This is the center of my universe in the American Pitbull Terrier. This dog here, let me tell you a little bit about it. it, was very, very novel with people, very kind with children. We have uh, countless pictures of him playing with kids even after he was uh, competing on weight pulling and, and um, those sort of things and, and he was always very hyped, uh, screaming to win, never giving up, having that relentless spirit. It's beautiful to see and I, I tell you a little story, when we took this picture, he was not even on conditioning. This is the way he looked and he was maintained through all his life. And, uh, and he was just an amazing dog, very happy, always a positive attitude. I will tell you things about this dog. You walk this dog and as you walk the dog, it will give me energy. I'll come from work, I'll be very tired, I'll be very disappointed of life and stuff like that and, and I will be this dog will give me back my spirit it will give me back life it'll make me feel like I want to like I want to fight for life like I want to fight against my problems you know sometimes you come from work and you feel defeated this dog was my medicine and it was my happiness and it was the happiness of my children I felt that having my children with this dog was something that'll keep my, keep my children protected so I was very very happy um, very 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 this dog never never give up okay it was very 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 strong the essence of the american people terrier the dog of velvet and steel and this is exactly the standard that i breed my dogs to okay from the mind of chico lopez if you look at some old magazines uh, from uh, from a uh, registry on some of these you always say from the mind of chico lopez and basically is the way I approach things and the way that I see things in the American Pitbull Terrier. For many years I made some uh, writings in Spanish and we called them El Novato Atrevido. El Novato Atrevido was basically the daring rookie, the daring rookie. Um, and that was, that was me when I started in the dogs, I was a daring rookie. I dare not to be with the masses, I dare not to be with with some people that I didn't like and I, I didn't thought I didn't think they were proper for my level of education my level of culture but I wanted a dog and I wanted a dog and I was so intrigued about the amazing dog you know I want you to know something that one of the things that intrigued me the most about the breed about this great dog and when I say the breed I'm not referring to what most people call pit bulls I'm, I refer about this dog right here what intrigued me the most was that I knew that I was alone I knew that I needed to learn things on my own. I needed to discover things for myself. And I was going forward with this, with this development. So I put myself in, in, in closed doors. You know, I didn't belong to any fraternity, hanging around, holding hands with guys, no clubs, no nothing. I would go to show, show clubs and, and show my dogs and do very, very well at it. And return back home, retrieve, and just enjoy my dogs. Why do I make these videos? And, I, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this here, and please box this, remember what I'm gonna tell you. I, I feel that there was a very fragile times. I feel that there were, there were times that were very, very fragile. And it was when I, when I was looking for the greatest American people terrier back in 1994, 93, there were so many, so many different choices and it was very, very difficult to go the very easy to go the wrong way. Very easy. I was pushed, tempted to go the wrong way. In other words, I met the right people in the breed. I was talking to the people that actually had the very best American people terriers at that particular time. I was talking to the people that, with the people that actually own the dogs that were connected to the heritage of over 140 years. I was talking to the right individuals. There were the bloodlines, there was Red Boy, there was Jeep, and May the Jules was coming into the scenery. There are other bloodlines, you know, Eli, Carver, blah, 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 all these were there. But you know, I came from a very competitive world of, of, of drag racing. And 
I'm very happy and very pleased that I was a fan of John Force uh, in Drag Race. You can look him up, John Force, 16 world champion. When I was following him, he was only a one or two time champion, drag racing champion. But this man was so competitive and I had this spirit. I was, I was a study of the, I was a student of this man. And what happened was I, I loved excellence. I knew that racing is won just by a little bit of age. I knew that winning number one is everything, that number two is first loser. All this was with me before I got into the American People Terrier. When I was a Boy Scout, I was number one. Everything in school, I was number one. I always wanted to be number one. You see the way you see me now? This is the way I was dressed with a suit and tie when I, when I saw the first dogman. And every time I went to that group of dog people, I never belonged in that group because I was, I was a good person. It, most people wouldn't understand me, but I was looking not for their friendship, not for anything else, I was looking for this. And I found this and I created, I multiply it and create consistency, I create and, and, I, and I tell you this, the most beautiful journey you'll ever see. After this long journey, I was still, I was still the Darren rookie. I was still learning and I'm still learning. I am right now learning about these dogs. And I'm by nature an educator. So for years I had ties on the magazine and he said at the bottom, no dogs for sale, no dogs for trade, don't call me. But I always put in this magazine, in the back of the cover of the magazine, for most part, I'll put the pictures of my dogs. I'm talking about the back of the magazine will be like, like the back, this is not the magazine, but in the back of the magazine I'll have the dogs, and sometimes inside the magazine. And they'll say no dogs for sale. I wanted to give chance to someone that was just like me. It kind of worried me that there was no people like me with the breed. And as time went by, 25, 26 years later, I realized that there's less people like me in the dogs in, 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 with the real dog, and good people are with the fake dogs, the fake pit bulls, the blues, the, the bully looking one like pit bulls, the pit bulls that come from the double X, the triple X, the oversized dogs, these fat monsters, 150 pound dogs shown by the media like this is great dog, this is a pit bull. They utilize, they like to throw around the word pit bull. And even I had today, somebody says, how do you pronounce it correctly? Is it a pit space bull or is it a pit bull? Well, I said the most informed people will call it pit and bull and you'll call it actually APVT, which is American Pit Bull Terrier. But how you call it, what they have in their mind is this dog. This is the real American Pit Bull Terrier. Some of the new generations, and I see the comments on, online and some of the new generations, 26 years old, they are the, the age of my son. When they see this dog, they say, this is not the pit bull. This, is, this really is the famous dog. This is the legendary champion awesome dog. And what they show me, what they show, or their interpretation of a pit bull is a dog with the clip ears and, and these big dogs. And most people today, around 26, 30 years old, they have no idea what is a real American pit bull terrier. The amount of misinformation out there is, is, is tremendous, is huge, and is one of the reasons why uh, the breed is, is, is almost going to be extinct. I say it many times, I might sound repetitive when I say things, and the reason is because I am a lobbyist type of leader. I, I, I go after something and I keep pounding in it. There are two different groups of people that mainly have these dogs they call pit bulls. They were one group, that had the real American Pit Bull Terrier all the way from the entry and development through America and it more from the game into the swamp. And there's another group of people which are the pet guys without standard, they started creating their own dogs and they came out with these popular dogs that they're not the real American Pit Bull Terrier. But there's still very few on the top um, real American Pit Bull Terriers. They're about to be extinct within the next 10 years or less. And you know, I had to just give you a little blend. I had another guy that sent me a message yesterday and he says, hey man, you know, um, what do you mean by a dog? He says, in the fraternity, there is all walks of life. You know, and then he called me, the guy called me, and, you know, he was really, really targeted on the phone. You know, he wanted me like a, like a ghetto hooligan type of guy. And, you know, I, I tried to say, say, you know, you know, it was very difficult to talk with this guy, you know, because he was just like, he was so upset that I wouldn't accept 
the criminal, because he, he was a criminal, he said it, and, and, and you know, I wouldn't accept the criminal factor into the equation. Whenever you have something great, whenever you have something professional, you know, if you have like, for instance, rag racing or the Winston Cup of, of, of NASCAR or, or you have F1, you don't have the thugs coming in to try to compete and create something. You know, you, you will only have uh, engineers, doctors, professionals, smart people, people that like to see data, like to see numbers, people that want to see performance, want to see things. And I believe these dogs are so, so amazing, the real American people Terrier, that real high quality people can actually appreciate this dog. There is nothing like it. There's no German Shepherds at this level. There is no Rob Walders at this level. What the American Pitbull Terrier has done, the evolution or the control process of evolution by the dogmen is so incredible. The performance is so incredible. What these dogs have gone through their lives and how they've been shaped to be so humble, so noble, so loyal, so balanced, they are so balanced, it's amazing. I find it to be totally unfair for someone that is, is going in life to be like, let's say, a CEO of a company or a guy that works in a, for, for a company, a Fortune 500 company, or for a good athletic man that wants to be successful in college, university, or for a hardworking man like I was, working, working uh, selling, being in, the, in sales, and, and pushing myself every day and having challenges in life, it's unfair for a person like that not to own a real American people terror. I find it to be totally unfair, to be very, very honest with you. Very, very unfair. I believe the information that's outside is, is a cloud of noise and it's a cloud of, 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 of social misleading information of the breed. You know, you see some guys that they see, is that a pit bull, is that a pit bull? And they say, but I thought the pit bull was something else. Well, I make this, this, these videos to educate people. Obviously, they take a lot of my time. And this channel is not even monetized. You know, you don't see advertising or anything like that because I will have to take some of the music that I like for the videos. I will have to take some of the stuff that I like for, for these videos. And, and I, it wouldn't be me. I like to be me. I will probably have to create an account where I get some donations or, or, or contributions from, from people that come and see the videos. And if you like them, give me some comments on what, which way should I go, whether I go to uh, uh, donation box or fundme.com. Give me some comments. Let me know which way I should go to help me get some finances to keep making these videos. I believe these videos are a heritage for the future. One of the biggest problems to the people that already own these dogs is that the people that already have the dogs, there are two groups. The one that already own a pit bull from the street, street level, a blue dog, which is fine to own that dog. That's what you already have. I had one too. And not a blue, but I had a, had a good a street level pit bull. Love that dog. Give them love all the way till the end when he dies. Don't breed that dog. That's my personal advice. You know, just breed the dog. I mean, I'm sorry. Just love the dog. Don't breed it. And it'll be a moment where you will decide that you want to get your second dog or your third dog. And at that moment, study this channel. Study my page, 123pitbulls.com. Achieve knowledge by getting the right information. Find the right person that has the right merits, the man that has the right pedigree that you feel comfortable with. And it's not going to be cheap. If you're looking for a cheap dog, you're not gonna get the best, I'm telling you right now. It'll be very good price compared to a bully, okay? And, and there are levels to that. And, and, and do that, okay? Now, getting rid of what you already have is a big problem for people that are breeding dogs. Those guys that are hating or very, being very uncomfortable, like my friend from Southern Kennels told me, he says, this is great information, but a lot of us even know about these things, but we don't wanna say them because we're gonna have too much confrontations. I don't wanna be a hero 
but I want to say that I have to go against this because if everybody stays quiet, then the breed will disappear. The real breed will disappear completely. They are not bad dogs, they are great dogs. They are family dogs, they're well balanced. When someone that knows how to breed them actually does the job. And that is the key. To be a breeder, I feel like if you want to be a breeder of these great dogs, you literally will have to come to school with me or, or something to learn how to do it properly. What will be the future? I do believe that dogs don't have to go through a hardcore process to preserve most of it. But if we hit a point right now in life where society will not allow it and society around the world will say we're not going to, we're not going to have any sort of blood sports, right? So we all hit that point right now. We hit that wall. So you can't fight your dog or, or, or performing into, into blood sport to, to make something as a test for the quality of the dog. At least we need to have a great base of performance, performance dog, a great game pool, to continue having a great man building with the great, uh, um, how do you call it, culture, to continue, someone with the, what my friend calls the, the eye of the tiger, to be able to pick up consistency and continue building the dogs. How can we take everybody's trash or everybody's standards, low standards, and use that? And you know, the first thing you know when somebody comes and tells you, say the kennel is called like, we're preserving the dogs. We're preserving which dogs? You don't even have the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to give you guys this conversation this morning. It's something for you to think about. Obviously this message is not made for the people that cannot be trainable, cannot be coachable, people that are not willing to change, people that already invested too much and they don't want to hear this truth. This truth, most people, most breeders don't want you to hear this video. This is the video that breeders don't want you to hear. Okay, I might even put this as a title. This is the truth that breeders don't want you to hear, that people breeders don't want you to hear. This is the truth that people, people that are selling dogs don't want you to hear. And this is the truth that must be heard by that Devin rookie that's coming, now he's 15, 17, 18 years old, 20 years old, or maybe he's 40, 45 years old, and he said, I just wanna have a great dog for my family, for my children. But you know, I didn't wanna get it from my neighbor because my, my neighbor is not that smart in life, or, or from the guy in the neighborhood because he's not that smart in life. So he couldn't be that he was not smart in life, but he was a great breeder. I wanna get it from a great breeder. So I put this out there for you to think you know, look at everything. You want to get some information. This page that I have, one to three pitbulls.com. You know, we, we started playing with it, making it. You know, making the the, the, the real pitbull.com. We started making this page. I'm not a professional page maker. Even my writing might not be perfect for a lot of people. It's not my native language. English is not my native native language. I do believe in greatness. I do believe in excellence. I do believe in, in, in promoting excellence. This this to me is, is so amazing. When I breed my dogs, I do it thinking of excellence. When I always, I knew and I learned so much from the American Pitbull Terrier, it changed my life. You know, literally, I was going in one direction, I met the American Pitbull Terrier, I went in the direction of the breed. I already put on it my good 26, 27 years. I've been traveling around the world, all over the world, many times, not one time, but many, many times, with the breed, helping people, lifting people, lifting up leaders, creating leaders, creating clubs and so on and so forth. So the, the, the biggest problem on the breed is always gonna be the culture. So for that person, the ones, this video is for that person that wants something special but does not wanna get dirty with something that he has no excellence, okay? With that being said, folks, I thank you very much for watching this video. I will be very grateful if you can share this video with someone that's smart, with someone that is that is um, educated, with someone that can have the benefit of having a great dog. The dogs are obviously not for the people that have no um, uh, tolerance for an animal that has high prey drive. These dogs are not uh, uh, dogs that you can socialize together and let them play together. That, that, that's not, that's the wrong mentality. But these dogs are for the men that want to have one, two, three or four dogs in kennels Believe me, nothing will happen to dogs. I have plenty of experience. I have many videos that I'm gonna keep loading up 
of dogs that are so happy, so eager to go and play for one hour, two hours, they go back into their box. I, I can put my dogs to watch television. They love to do that. They're very educated. They don't pee on the box. You know, and, and they, you know, I'll tell you something. I was talking to my wife and she said, you know, you might make a lot of people upset. And I said, I knew I was gonna do that when I started making these type of videos, you know. But I also understand that I have a responsibility to protect these dogs. And I said, I'm gonna educate the new generations coming in. And some of the older generations are going to accept this because some of them actually know that this to be the truth. And, and so this message is for the love of the dogs, for the real American People Terrier. I, I don't, I, don't, I really I have no, no, I have dislike for some of the uh, things that they do with the dogs and, and the reason why they do them. But going forward, folks, a very positive video, a, you know, we want, and I said it, I want to connect the very best uh, humans with the very best dogs. So I'm looking for people that are, they look like me, they are dressed like me or better, and, and want to have a great dog. If you are that person, if you're looking for the dog, you didn't find your person, I am a very good candidate for you to buy a really good puppy from me, and you can enjoy that puppy. Um, one of the reasons why and there's many reasons and there's many people, but several people are at an age. There's one of them is actually a student, a law student to be a lawyer. Him and his uh, girlfriend or fiance, we met before. And, uh, you know, scouted the internet and, and found my dogs. And he had a level of education. He didn't get lost into the swamp. And other friends also didn't get lost into the swamp. I believe that I rescue a lot of people from going into the swamp. And I rescue a lot of people from buying a dog from the street. I was that guy with the street dog. I was the person that loved my street dog and enjoyed my street dog, a street level dog. But also I was almost in about to start buying bullies and bully type of dogs and blue dogs because what the magazines were telling me to go for, it was fake, literally. In, in 19, I'm talking about 1993, 94, the magazines of pit bulls had blues in them, had bullies in them, you know? And so it was a whole lot of misinformation. And a lot of people in this breed are still learning things, okay? But greatness is in the breed. Beautiful dogs, amazing athletic animals, give you a lot of happiness. And I want you to enjoy these dogs, folks. And together, we're going to work together to save this breed. These videos are a gift to humanity and then a gift to the new generations. Thank you very much, folks. I'm very happy to make this video for you. My name is Chico Lopez from 123pitbulls.com. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day.